Hi, in this session we will discuss SCP Fury security. So first of all uh, we will look into what is security and what uh, why it is required. So let's start. So uh, we will look at the concepts related to securing the various touch point of Fury. So when we say the touch points, so what are those touch points here? So if we look into this uh, slide, so uh, when running the SAP Business Suite systems, we must ensure that our data and processes support our business needs without allowing the unauthorized access to critical information. So the user errors, negligence or attempted manipulation of our systems must not result in the loss of data or information or it should not impact the processing time. So these security requirements apply equally to SAP Fury applications. If we begin uh, to look at this topic of security from a high level perspective, so what are the various touch points that we have in this context? So as we, uh, we notice here, so we are traversing at least three network layers here. So the internet or the public network where the devices or indeed our consumption model exist. That is the top layer wherein we have the mobile, we have the desktop. So this is my external environment from where my application is getting accessed. After that, we have the DMZ, this layer, the second layer, which is a DMZ layer. So after the DMZ, we have the server zone. So in this, we have a front end server as well as a back end server. So sometimes the server may be split into one or more DMZ layers or they could consist of an inner DMZ or the outer DMZ. So there could also be some secure server zones that are in place. So as a thumb rule, we will consider at least four network layers in, the, in this. So now each of these layers provide a touch point in our case and also provide some security aspects that need to be considered. So when a user launches an SAP Fiori application, the launch request is sent from the client to my ABAP front-end server and by the SAP Fiori launchpad. So during the launch, ABAP front-end server or the gateway server authenticates the user by using the authentication mechanism or the single sign-on mechanisms. And obviously this is not the, uh, so we have the different uh, authentication methods which are available here. That is the X509, SAML 2.0, logon tickets, Kerberos, a BAP security session. So this initial authentication is done here. So now this is not the complete list, but this is just a selection from that list. Now, after this, each of these parts has its own security concept that need to be considered. So there are many parts in this whole uh, Fury security architecture. So uh, now each of these parts has their own security concepts that need to be considered. So it doesn't mean that they all implement the security differently, but they all have different aspects of the security paradigm that are emphasized more in one context or in another. So basically the security has to be implemented at all the layers of it, but the, uh, the way we are implementing the security that can be different. Now let's move to the next slide. Now if you uh, access the SAP Fury application from the corporate network, we can enable the Kerberos based authentication for the ABAP front-end server. So these are the basically the supported authentications which are there in my SAP Fury security. That is the Kerberos, we have X509 certificates, we have SAML2 and we have the logon tickets. So basically when our SAP Fury applications are accessed from our corporate network, then we prefer Kerberos. So this type of authentication is especially recommended if we already have the infrastructure in place. For example, if we are using the Microsoft Active Directory and are using Kerberos. So if you have implemented a public key infrastructure, 